Hi, my name is Daniel Lucero, and the topics I chose are cloning and stem cell research. Everyone starts as a single cell before becoming a human fetus, but there are quite a few steps on the way, which I will, go, which I will not go through. Along those steps, there are different types of cells produced that have different possibilities and genetic identities. Each genetic identity has its own purpose, but specifically embryonic stem cells have the ability to become any different type of cell. Production of different types of functioning cells can be used to cure patients with diseases, and with embryonic stem cells, the types of treatments are endless. First, a patient can have skin cells taken as a sample to extract his or her DNA. This ensures that the treatment is tailored to the patient's genetic code so that he or she does not reject the treatment. The nucleus is taken from the patient's sample and then inserted into an unfertilized human egg. After the nucleus from the egg has been removed, the egg cell multiplies, creating stem cells. Next, the stem cells are transferred to a culture dish where they can be grown into the types of cells that the patient needs, whether it be liver, heart, nerve, etc. Many types of ethical issues arise from the embryonic stem cell research because it could be possible to reprogram and insert cells into a uterus and create a new individual. The list of issues goes on and on, and bioethical debates will continue for some with no end because of deep religious or moral faiths. Ultimately, success in science and the chance at curing fatal disease, diseases will change the opinions of society and politics. Until then, an immense amount of research and scientific labor taking decades will have to take place. But rather than maybe, but when, the world will be a better place. Stem cell research and cloning are highly overlapping subjects in ethical debate and scientific research. One could experiment with cloning by first conducting enough stem cell research to plan future testing. In, early two, in the early 2000s, the House of Representatives passed a bill that bans human cloning for both reproduction and biomedical research. The President's Bioethics Council unanimously passed a bill for reproduction, but only 7 out of 17 members were, were for the ban on biomedical research. It's clear that cloning in general has an ethical societal standard of playing God, so to speak. But the debate is international, and many other countries have decided that cloning for biomedical research be appropriate, yet not for reproduction. A simple ban on the research would be a brute and uninformed decision, considering the complex questions that cloning provokes. A better option would be to promote ethical discussions and highly regulate the type of research permitted. It would be unfortunate to 100% discontinue the likelihood of curing diseases in patients of need, only through public discussion of ethics may some consensus be come to on small divisions of the cloning and stem cell science in order to continue on the path to better medical technology and treatment. 